Okay, we're back uh, today with the uh, 700 that we did uh, as a carryout. And this is why we don't like to do carryouts because uh, everybody's a mechanic and not everybody needs to be messing with the 700. So, but uh, this has about four miles on it since we did it. It come in uh, with the cable that uh, controls uh, the TV pressure that goes up to the carburetor. Uh, this cable here is what controls the pressure in the tranny. Well, if you have that out of adjustment, the tranny will not live. It'll bring it right up. It'll do it within a very uh, short period of time. So we're going to tear this down and kind of look at what uh, happened to it with the, the cable out of adjustment. The valve is still free. Hold on. Brand new governor gear. Like I said, this tranny's only got five miles on it since we did it. But you can see that valve. That valve has to be moving. Let me see. Do it again. Inside there. Mm hmm So the valve's good. That now he did go to an electronic speedometer from a gear style. So this train, he says it's got about five miles on it. I really won't be able to verify that because we never got no speedometer information or anything. But uh, just by looking at it, uh, when it come in, it was poorly put in. Uh, both cooler lines were leaking. Which he, when he loaded it off the trailer, uh, the cooler lines were leaking. It had fluid all the way back to the uh, to the rear end from the cooler lines leaking on it. And he said he went and drove it five miles. So I don't know if it ran along fluid either, but it's got one of my Corvette servos in it that we put in. Rings look good all the way around. This is what applies your second and your fourth gear band. Now he said it lost, it uh, never had third gear. You can see what the pan looks like. It stinks really bad. You can tell he got it hot instantly. And what happens is you get the cable out of the adjuster or not anywhere close. Uh, it won't shift out at the right pressure. And what it does, it picks on third gear right off the bat because it's your smallest uh, clutch. So. Reface that kind of towards me a little. build these trannies back we always put a new washer on these bolts right here because they're bad about leaking around here and plus we put a little bit of sealant on here that way we double ensure that this bolt will not leak because there is pressure back here and we've had them come back before a long time ago so we do put the teflon washer on here and then we silicone them also that way we know that that thing isn't going to come back leaking out of the front now we put the seal retainer on it. We glue it in and we glue the seal in too. That way it just helps hold the front seal in so much better that way. Now what I'm looking for is damage on that what we could have done, done uh, that burnt this tranny up. Anything that we could have physically done. Now it's got a 500 boost valve in it that we put in here. I can tell by the color of the spring. Let me look at the pump. Now we always, uh, I'll show you where we glue these pumps together because these trannies have a bad problem about uh, leaking fluid out the vent right here after rebuilding them. So, and what happens is, is uh, right here in this pump, you, 
they put the line pressure circuit right next to the vent circuit. Right here. And you can't see it, it's already kind of squished out, but there's a fine layer of silicone on here. You can tell it's nice and dry in the vent circuit. Yeah, but see right here, this is line pressure and this is your vent circuit. So we put a small coating of silicone right here when we put this back together and let it dry. That way that can't cross over right here because it don't take much to cross over and then come out the vent right here on the side of the tram. Everything's looking really good. Everything looks really good. New pump gears, complete pump kits, what we put in them. Now we would have put a, a wide band thing, we would have put a 14 clutch third gear too. So the band is I mean, it's dark. You can smell it. It's been slipping on it a little bit. Not so much on the drum. You can't see it. This band's so big, it's hard to slip it. But where our band is going to be, should be in here. But we want to look at our ceiling ring since we did build it and make sure we didn't cut any of them. It takes a special tool to put these rings on and resize them back to where they are. They look really good. Your three, four clutch is right here, this hole. Your forward clutch is here, then your engine brake clutch is here. So let's look at this and see. Cause this here is where we're, I can already see it, it burn it up. Cause without that cable, it'll burn this right up. We got our load springs in here. Like I was telling everybody, you never leave out. But this clutch pack right here is just totally burn up here. Let me get it out of there. You can just see it cooked it. And that's your three, four clutch right there. And with the cable being out of adjustment the way it was, this is the first clutch to go because it's so tiny. Normally there's only six clutches in here, but we put a Z pack or an Alto pack uh, that puts 14 in here. So that's what it looks like. Get down in here, look at the forward clutch. Do some hefty duties. Now these clutches uh, don't get affected by the cable because this is fixedly done by line pressure, not TV pressure. So these clutches here will probably be fine because uh, it physically never stopped the filter up. So see, these clutches still look brand new. Now, the band on your three, four clutch works off a of TV pressure. So if the cable ain't adjusted and rise, uh, pressure doesn't rise for this clutch to apply, then that's why it burns the clutch up. But this clutch here doesn't uh, work off the cable. It physically works off the, the pump pressure. That's why they look brand new. Well, we already found the problem pretty much what it is, what went down. Um, we'll get in here and see. What we got going. This here is your low reverse clutch. and a manual low. But it still looks brand new. They change color when you put fluid on them. But they still look. So basically, what I see is a TV adjustment out. And what causes the train to Show them where that clip goes because I've had questions when people pull this transmission apart where that goes in the case. 
Okay. Let's see. What we got is, if you look down in here, and what is this called? sets down in here just like that. And that is what we call an anti clunk spring. What that does is, uh, it keeps this support right here from rocking back in the case when we go from reverse to drive. So you go to drive, it clunks it this way. You go back, you put it uh, back in reverse, it goes back the other way. So this keeps this from moving. So this will set in here kind of like that. Or one of these smaller spots maybe right through here. Yeah. I'd set it down in there see, but that's what it looks like. So it's got the hardened shell. So basically put it back together with a new Z-Pack, another band, clean it all up, get all the metal out of it, put it back in the car, hook the TV cable up to the car, but get it adjusted right and uh, let the customer have it back. So uh, if you need it done, come and see us so we can do it right for you. Have a good day.